Hey guys, so it's time here to do a quick little video where I have this beautiful, super slim Android device here. It is the Oppo R5. So I just want to know if Apple has a competitor to this super, super slim uh, device. Do they have a phone that can match this one in terms of... Uh, Thickness. So I'm gonna compare it against uh, a bunch of different Android or iPhones uh, from Apple that they have released over the years and see how they kind of match up and stack up against this very very gorgeous, as I said there, thin device. So let's just put it down here. And let's start off with, um, let's just zoom in here a little bit as well. So let's start off here to compare it against the iPhone 4, uh, iPhone 4 from 2010. And um, let's just put it here side by side. So is that a slim device? No. This almost looks like a joke. Sure, it's an old iPhone, but it's almost like you can stack two Oppo R5 and still be thinner <laughs> than the iPhone. Pretty funny. So the this one is a fat phone. The phone from 2010 is pretty fat, especially the phone here from Apple. So let's compare it against the next phone that Apple released the next year. It was the iPhone 4S. So we have it here. It was, uh, you know, a nice phone. Is that one thinner? No. It is actually the same as the iPhone 4. Uh, it is 9.3 millimeters in thickness, very very fat. But again, these are old iPhones. Let's uh, let's uh, take one phone that they released 2013, uh, the beautiful and gorgeous um, uh, iPhone 5. This one is pretty nice. Yeah, let's uh, put that one next here. You can see that even that one looks super. Fat. And that's a phone from 2013, it's not that old, uh, but it still looks very, very fat here. It's uh, and um, yeah, so let's compare it against a new phone that came um, that came out. Yeah, this one, more, uh, the iPhone 5 2012. Uh, let's compare it against 2013 iPhone, the iPhone, the iPhone, the iPhone, the iPhone 5S uh, with the touch ID sensor. Can that one compete? 2013 device. No, that one is also super fat. Pretty funny. Uh, it, so both the 5S and the iPhone 5 is 7.6 millimeters in thickness. So still very, very fat compared to this beautiful Oppo, Oppo phone. Let's compare it against the, the iPhone 5C, which also was a phone that um, Apple released. Um, this one was a pretty cool device, yeah. Is that one thinner? No, not even close. This one is actually nine millimeters in thickness. So that's pretty interesting. So let's step it up. Okay, these were old iPhones. Let's compare it against the current generation iPhones. So can the iPhone 6, the 6 Plus, the super, the super uh, huge mega phone, can that one compete here against the R5? So what we can see here is that not even that one can compete. It's actually 7.1 millimeters in thickness. It's not even close, you know, it's not even close. So let's, um, let's take the final phone here, the phone that everyone been waiting for. Can Apple's, um, their main phone uh, that everyone loves, this gold colored uh, iPhone, can that one compete? Can this gold uh, colored iPhone, iPhone 6, compete against the Oppo R5? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's put it side by side. And no, not even the iPhone 6 can compete. It's not even close, actually, uh, to the Oppo R5. It's way thicker, as you probably can see way thicker uh, it is actually 
seven point no six point nine millimeters in thickness, which is still very very fat compared to this phone. So the Oppo R five, how how kind of thick is it? Well, it's actually four point nine millimeters uh, in in terms of thickness. So that's extremely 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 nice. Uh, it's actually I think in in, in precise. Um, I think it's actually it's 4.85 millimeters in thickness. It's actually a little bit smaller than 4.9 millimeters in thickness, but it's extremely attractive. It's extremely interesting how they can produce thin phones like that. It's gonna be interesting to see if Apple can match that. Uh, they're probably not gonna do it at least this year because usually they release the same thickness for two years in a row. So the iPhone 6S or something, it's probably not gonna be that interesting. Uh, but um, it's still pretty fun uh, to um, to um, to see that kind of thickness difference. So let's just try to stack. I'm not sure. Can we stack all the fat iPhones and the fat compared to the Oppo phone? Can we stack them here together? So you can see all this fatness together. Let's see here the five S. And uh, let's see here. We have a lot of fatness here. Let's um, let's put in the iPhone five as well. Oh yeah. Uh, let's take the two another two fat phones from Apple, the fattest. Let's add almost two centimeters. And uh, just for fun here, let's uh, let's put in another iPhone. And iPhone 6. So yeah, quick little video just for fun checking that out. Very very impressive what Oppo has been able to do. So um, yeah, I really do hope that we see more slimmer and thinner phones in the future because that's probably where the future is going. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how far they are going to take it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video and have an awesome day. Peace.